This is where my praying mantis usually lives. Somewhere by this big light bulb here. I do get flies and sometimes a cockroach or two because they live right by my garage. And he eats. He catches a fly or two a day, I see. But whenever I find a bug for him, I usually don't leave him up there because he has a hard time. He'll drop it sometimes, which is amazing. But it's mostly because of how I'm trying to hand it to him, I believe. So I was about to clean my desk off. Found a little cockroach, kind of killed it, and had it to him right here. So this is a video of him eating that cockroach, which I will warn you is not very exciting because cockroaches spend a lot of their time sitting completely motionless, as you see he's doing right now. In fact, even while they're eating, they spend a lot of time just sitting motionless, not doing anything. And if you bother them any while they're eating, they will um, hold perfectly still. And Piper wants some attention. So I'm going to give her some attention. Make this video. Oh, hush. Yeah. So at this point, the praying mantis has eaten the head off, and he basically isn't going to do much unless you watch carefully, because I've bothered him while he's eating. But that's okay. If you watch, you'll see that he does eat, and I don't even have the patience to sit there and watch it. But if you watch carefully, you'll see what he does. Ooh, it's raining hard, huh, Pup? I'm shooting my weight here. Leave that record on the on the um, crane mass eating cup. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of rain. Let's try it out. See you on the club. Now do any on the club. Watch out. So I went to the store, and when I got back, he had eaten up the head, and I set up the video minutes since he ate the head, and I left him alone, and he's already eaten quite a bit. He's pretty much eaten the whole thing, just because I left him alone. But it's still hard for me to videotape, because I don't have the proper setup to do it. I can't take close videos, so I videotaped, and then later hand in. Plus, as you see, I wasn't really ready to feed him, it's just... He's been eating this for like... He started eating as I was about to clean my room. You see my room is more now. But at least you get some video of a cockroach eating. He's pretty much eaten all the cockroach now. He's finishing up some of the last bits. He usually doesn't really eat the wings. And r right about this time is when he'll start to clean his body up. Clean off his legs and his, his claws. 
I guess getting ready for the next time that he's going to catch another bug. Or maybe just because he likes to lick everything clean. I don't know. As you can hear, I'm listening to a comedian in the back. Sorry if there's any offensive language that you don't like. I know it doesn't look like he's doing anything, but if you were to watch it in fast motion, which I don't feel like doing really, it's difficult for me to figure out how to edit these things. He's actually doing stuff, but very slowly, very meticulously. But any minute now, he will actually be clean himself. If any of you have a good name that I should name my praying mantis, tell me in the credits. I'd like to come up with a good name. A lot of times I'll name my insects or my pets, and a lot of people are like, why did you name it that? But then later they'll tell me, I would have named it such and such. I'm like, oh, that was a great idea. I wish I hadn't already named him. So if you got a good name, tell me, because I only have really this one that lives in my room and two or three that live in my garage. If you watched any of my other videos on my praying mantises before, you know that <coughs> I hatched probably anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 of them that I let go on my property. Unfortunately, I let them go most outside, mostly outside, and we've been having pouring rainstorms at that time from then until now, and I fear that some of them might have washed away. Oh, he's about to start eating. I mean, cleaning himself, like I told you, or we have tried to play a little time with him. I hope it's working out. He always does this little wiggly thing, too, in between what he's going to do. So, I don't know what happened to all the others. Occasionally, I'll see one out of my property. I definitely have plenty of bugs, but I live around some heavily wooded areas, so I feel like they probably either left, or maybe they got rained on so much that they just flooded out to the road. Maybe some of them drowned. Maybe some were eaten by the myriad of different lizards and birds that I have living around here. I don't know. But I only have a few that I know are always here. This guy is always here. He lives in my room, and I see him every couple days. It almost seems like he comes walking up to me like, Hey, give me a bug. I hope the others are okay. But this one here, especially, I want to name him. He's pretty cool. See, he's starting to clean his arms now. His claws. I'm trying to learn how to edit these things better. And I did order off Wish 
some cool GoPro, a GoPro and some lenses that can go on your camera and on your phone to be able to take video of micro or of, um, <coughs> of small scale bugs and stuff like that. But right now I'm just using my LG phone, and um, I don't have really good eyesight anyway, and my screen's cracked. So until I put this up on YouTube, which after that I'll be able to watch it on my TV, I don't usually see exactly what's going on. I try to put all the things on it that I want, edit the way that I want, but I generally can't see it. But you can see here he's cleaning himself now. He's cleaning his front claws, and then later he'll start cleaning his back legs, and usually his antenna and everything. He pulls his antenna through his mouth, and he's a very clean creature. Very tame, very friendly. I give him at least a drop of water every day, even if I don't find him a bug. I don't see him every day, but I see him most days. I have watched him hours, literally spent hours watching him do this. So like I said, I've, kept, I've, stopped, I've watched this guy clean himself and eat so many times I've spent hours of my life watching him. That's probably why he's so tame with me now. A lot of times he'll just literally eat it while I'm holding it in my hand, but I don't have any kind of setup for that <coughs> to be able to make it so that you can watch him do that while I feed him. I don't need a way to hold my camera or anything like that, which I did order from Wish 2 way back in the beginning of May, and now it's the middle of July. And I still haven't got most of it.
but I know that nobody's going to watch him, even if I set the camera up, which I did. I set the camera up this time, leaned it on my sunglasses on my counter, and I had to just delete most of it because most of it's him sitting completely still, not moving at all, which looks like he's doing right now if you're watching. But if you were to do fast motion, you'd see that he is moving a little bit. And so I cut it off and I'm starting it again so you see where he's at now. He's all done, so here he is crawling on my hand. And I think, I don't know if I have, if I'm talking while this is happening or not. But he's very tame. He's really quite tame. And I'm going to stop Usually talking about this because time. I believe there's talking in the back. Of the okay, usually now, I'll give him some water. It's hard to do with one hand. No, probably not. Put it on my finger. I put a drop of water on my finger there. I guess he doesn't need water right now. Definitely has no fear of me whatsoever. This is the same one that's lived in my room since he was born, months ago. Every once in a while he comes out, and I'll find him a bug, and he'll eat it. What, baby girl? Piper's jealous. What's the matter, baby girl? You jealous? Okay. Say bye, Mr. Pringles. What? Oh, you know why she wants? She wants me to get out. One of her, watch out, one of her rhinoceros beetles, which I'll do a video on that later. There's that big boy. What's that noise? Is that you? I think Piper is doing a little toots. I don't know. I've never heard that from him before. Well, he's pretty nice, though, huh? Compared him to the size of the praying mantis. You gotta put him back. Come on. Let go. I think he's got well, it's a little hair, but he's got two feet. Two females with him. No, actually, he has three females. It's four rhinoceros beetles living in there, but three females and one male. See? Okay. This is supposed to be a pre mass video, Piper, not a rhinoceros beetle Piper video. Oh, oh, oh!